Montana Motor Vehicle Division has served over 75,000 customers since the launch of the new driver services system in November. That's according to a news release from the state attorney general's office. And those include over 58,000 appointments and over 18,000 walk-ins. The new system increased the number of online services offered and significantly decreased the overall appointment times for customers expanding in-person appointment availability across the state. Nearly one-third of the customers served were able to complete their transaction online. MVD staff say the appointments take around 10 minutes. Customers also receive their credentials within 7 to 10 days compared to the 4 to 6 weeks with the previous system. The new credentialing and registration system is part of a multi-phase, multi-year effort to improve customer service and efficiency for Montanans at MVD exam stations across the state. Bradley Elementary School in East Helena has had two teachers win the Northwest Council for Computer Education Outstanding Technology Educator of the Year for two years in a row. MTN's Allie Kaiser sat down with this year's winner to see what the achievement means to her. Good teachers make a major difference in our communities, and they often do not get recognized for their impact. But one East Helena teacher was awarded for her work at the largest educational technology conference in the Northwest region. Katie Jones started working at R.H. Radley Elementary School right out of college 19 years ago. Getting to work with students is uh, the bright spot of my day for sure. She's the school librarian and media instructor and teaches the Gifted and Talented program. I uh, was born into education. Both of my parents were educators. The 53rd Northwest Council for Computer Education Conference was held the week of February 12th in Seattle, Washington. Educators from Montana, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, and Alaska were nominated for the award, but Jones was the sole winner of Outstanding Technology Teacher of the Year. And if you have somebody like Katie Jones, she's going to get the job done, and she's going to go above and beyond what's expected of her. Jones was nominated for the award by her fellow teachers. This award is a reflection of all of my experiences along the way and the people I've interacted with, um, whether it be family or friends, uh, former teachers that I had, colleagues or students themselves. Each of those interactions have really shaped who I am as an educator. The goal of the award is to recognize excellence, focus professional attention on quality technology education, increase public awareness of the importance of quality technology education, and model quality use of a variety of technologies. Jones teaches her her students website design coding and infographics among other things we do try to you know give a wide variety of exposure so that we can catch a number of students in their area of interest to let them know that really there's a tech tool that will be helpful for everyone principal Gus Sommerfeld says that R.H. Radley would not be the same without Jones if we didn't have Katie Jones um, unfortunately I think there would be a lot of um, gaps that would exist here at, and things would slip through the cracks Jones enjoys that teaching allows her to be a lifelong learner. I don't have to be an expert in the field of technology, that I just get to be a learner that's willing to share. The NCCE will start accepting nominations for 2025 next January. In Helena, Ali Kaiser, MTN News.